All right, guys, well, today we're going to learn how to pivot to our left, how to pivot to our right in a right-handed stance and as a south pole. So without any more to do, let's hop right into the video. All right, guys, so we're going to work on pivoting to our left. So we're going to pivot to our left, but facing to our right. So make sure when you do this, have a speed ladder because this is going to help you out the same way it helped us when I was teaching you guys the basics of jabbing, stepping forward and back. Once again, it's going to help us. So what we're going to do is start with a right-hander. You're going to have your left foot right in the middle of the speed ladder. You're going to be in your stance. Now, I'm going to pivot. So when I say pivot to my left, I'm swinging my body to my left, facing my right. So I'm going to be here. I'm balling my back foot. You see how I lift my foot up? I'm going to be on the ball of my front foot. I'm going to turn my foot like this, almost like I'm throwing a punch. But as I turn, I'm going to swing my body and face the right. So I'm going to Pivot, turn, and then you see how I'm facing here? So you saw I did that? I, on my front foot, I pivot and turn my body. Now, it's simple, real easy, but remember, keep an eye on this right leg. It should be facing the corner right here. You see how I'm in the corner of the box right here? So that simple thing, keep in mind, just on the ball, pivoting right there, facing my opponent straight ahead, okay? Just pivot, turn and step, just like that. So that's real simple, pivoting to the left. And we're, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of times and then we're gonna break down a couple of mistakes that go along with it. I almost forgot one more detail, guys. So we de I demonstrated my foot in the middle, pivoting here in the corner. I forgot to show you guys why, how do I know if I'm in a good stance when I pivot, my foot's out of the box. So when I do this, how do I know if I'm in a good stance or not? Here's how you can tell. So you see my foot's in the corner, my foot's in the middle. I'm gonna, once again, be on the ball of my front foot. I'm gonna turn my body, swing, face here. Now, you're wondering, how am I in good stance? This is one thing to keep an eye on. Look at my foot. It's right in alignment with this part of the speed ladder, right here. You see? My foot is in, right in alignment, just like that. If your foot's lined up with this part of the ladder, you're in a good stance, here. So, when you do it, right in the middle, hit it, turn, you're right there, you're in a good stance. I will explain more when I break it down, your little mistakes to keep an eye on. I'll explain why that is such a big and important factor. Now, as we demonstrated, when you pivot, you wanna have your foot right here in the cone. I mean, in the corner, sorry. And the reason for that is because it tells you you're in a right stance, you're in a good position, you're balanced. Now, the, these are some little mistakes you do is you start noticing if you pivot and I don't end up in that corner right there, look at my foot, it slides back, you see? And I drag my foot. That's a, you see that, you pull that, it means you're dragging your feet. But you see, so, Remember, pivot, corner. If I don't do that, look, I'm right behind my own foot. I could trip on my own feet like that. So that's a, also another way to understand if you're in a good, because if you learn here, like this, when you come out here and pivot, you're comfortable, you're fine, you're not guessing. This is to give you a rough draft and an idea if you're in a good stance or not. Another thing is, if I don't, if I pivot, See, I'm not in the corner, I'm far, I'm actually on the other side of the corner. Guess what, my leg is behind and I'm sliding back. And I'm, that's horrible, you never want your feet crossed. So that's another reason why. And these are mistakes that people do is over committing on their pivots by swinging that back of the leg. So when you do it, you wanna make sure your foot pivot, that right leg ends up in that corner, that right corner, that bottom right corner on the speed ladder. Now, again, when you pivot, I did say, make sure your foot is in alignment with this right here, of the ladder, this part of the ladder. The reason for that is, because it tells you you're in a good stance, you're in a good position where I can point, move. If I don't do that, if I let my foot slide out here, see, I'm in the middle of this one. I'm slowly creeping into a wide stance. See if I was, I'm creeping into a wide stance. I don't want that. 
I want to be in a good stance here where I can bend. I can step forward. I can step back. But I don't do that. I let it out here. It, I, I can't take a big step. I only take small steps. And I'm off balance. I don't have good positioning. I can't generate the same power. So that's why I gotta make sure when I pivot, boom, right here. I'm in line with that part of the ladder. There's a line right there. That's my line, making sure. Because I saw you, I showed you. If I'm not getting in that wide stance, if you start noticing your feet start traveling out here, you're just getting wider, wider. Even if it's going backwards, it's getting wider, wider. You see, I'm slowly creeping in to the other boxes. Don't want that. Another reason why that's to help guide you is that line here, stop right here, is because some people will overcommit on their pivot and they'll do this. See, I'm away from that line. I'm actually in this next line, causing me to cross my feet. I don't want that in boxing. You never, never want your feet crossed. So that's why I use this reference, this green line right now that I'm using. That's my line right there. My foot's right there. I'm in a good position, good balance. I can step forward, step back. I can step right. I can step left with, and take good steps. So that's why when you're using the ladder, use these things, the corner, when I'm out here of the ladder. Use the corner so I can face the position. I'm in good stance. I want to get out of the ladder. I'm using the line, the green line right there to help me stay in here. I want to get back in the ladder. I'm back in the corner once again. I want to get out. Once again, I drag my foot a little bit, which you guys don't want to do because you see it through everything off. And you may not be like, oh, it's a small drag. Remember, you don't want to do any small bad habit because it will lead and hurt you in fights. So, but you see what I'm saying? Here, I'm on the ladder. I'm in the yellow line right now. See, I'm in a good stance. I'm in a good position, good balance. That's why, once again, it's simple, but practice a lot with having your feet on these corners, on the line, on the corner, on the line, because once you start engraving and doing it, it becomes easy when you don't have it to make those moves without the ladder, and you will always know you're not in a bad stance. You'll do it, you, you will feel comfortable. You won't be guessing, am I in a bad stance? This feels, eh. It's still so so. See what I'm saying? It's a guessing game. You can start like, I mean, you can be very analytical, but it's a little bit harder. That's why I say use the ladder because if I do a big one, yeah, I'm in the other, I'm in the corner, but look, there's a box in between. I'm in a wide stance. You see, this gives you more of a visual and helps you be more strategic and more detail oriented with how you step in pivoting. So make sure you have a ladder when you guys are doing this. All right, now we're gonna pivot to our right. We're gonna pivot to the right, face to the left. So once again, foot in the middle. Now, I'm gonna pivot my body. I'm gonna swing my body right to face left. So I'm here, once again, on that ball of that back foot, turn my body and turn and face. Once again, keeping this right foot in the corner, facing straight ahead. So as I, on my toe, as I'm pivoting, I'm shifting my whole body, turning in one motion, facing that. That, that's me pivoting in the in the ladder, pivoting in the ladder. Now pivot out the ladder. You see, my foot is on line with the yellow line right there. That's me pivoting out of the ladder. So I'm here, pivot, turn, all in one motion. Nice, good step, good balance right here. I pivot back in the ring, ball of the foot, slide into that right corner, pivot, Sliding right out, okay? Remember, key, that's one of the key things is having your ball on your front foot up. I mean, you're having heel off the ground and ball on the front foot. As you're turning your whole body, you see how much? As I turn, my foot's turning with me. I'm not waiting till last second to turn. It's all one fluid motion. Body, the whole body, your feet, your hips, your shoulders, everything moves as one as I turn, turn. Turn, everything moves as one. All right, guys, so remember how I said, you're gonna have your foot in the middle, ball of your foot, you're gonna turn, pivot, corner. Now here's some mistakes that people do. They'll pivot 
and they'll be here, right here. And you'll say, what's the mistake? You're not sliding, your foot is not hitting each other. But believe it or not, sometimes boxing, you hear me say it, every second counts. Likewise, every inch counts. It's a game about inches. It may not seem like so much, but that step from the corner to here makes a big difference from being able to bend to where you can drill on your shots, being here where you can bend, but you still don't get the same leverage. You don't still feel as comfortable as out here with a little bit more room. And it's simple. You may not understand it, especially new starting off. You may not feel you're like it feels fine. I don't see a problem, but trust me, when you do it, it needs to be out in that corner. It's a game about inches. Trust me, every inch counts. You don't want to rush through it and be here where eventually you start developing that bad habit where you can trip on your own feet or you be off balance because you're going so fast that you wind up like this here where you can't, if you got to step back, you try sliding back. You see what I'm saying? It's just a lot of stuff that it may seem small and significant, but trust me, when you're on that ball, corner right here. Like I said, it may seem stupid. Just from like, how does that one little like, one or two inches make a big difference? It does, as far as balancing, as far as being able to squat down, being able to weave, slip, like it's a game about inches. So just make sure when you guys are doing it, I shoot for that corner. Also, now when I pivot, that's me pivoting into the rope, or me into the line. Now, when you pivot out, some people will go shoot like that. See how I shot my foot? Yes. Once again, I'm by the, by the line, the green line, but I'm squared up in a wide stand. Because look, there's a box in the middle and I'm in a wide stance. So if I was to step, you see here, I'm already in a wide stance. I'm getting wider before I even take my step. That's why you want to be here. Remember that yellow line, that's where I'm looking for, right there. I don't want to shoot because eventually by me doing that, it's going to square me up. And speaking of square up, that's another thing I see. People will do that, they'll pivot and they'll shoot like this. See how I'm in the middle? Right here, both of my shoulders are pointing forward. It's almost as bad or worse, to be honest with you, when you do that, a pivot to the right. See how I'm back here? I went out in a wide stance, but at least I'm not as squared up. Here, they'll turn, people will turn and be squared up. See, yes, I'm in a stance, but I'm squared up both my shoulders, both my hips are pointing forward. And that means, what does squared up mean? More to be hit. I don't want that. So that's why I want you guys, when you try and get out, stay on that yellow line. And if you're wondering, yellow is just co color coordinated. This is why I like it. Also, it just helps me get a better idea and visualize, especially for coaches that are working with other fighters, especially younger ones, you can tell them, make sure you stay by it. So for example, if I had a young one, I'll say when you pivot to your right, make sure your right foot lands on that yellow. So see, it's right in line with that yellow. It helps them understand and get a visual of, okay, am I in the line, am I here? I don't wanna be out here. I don't wanna be here, you see what I'm saying? I don't wanna be back here, you see? Like, is it by that line? See, gives you a better visual, helps you understand more. So those are just some key things when you're doing this. Make sure you're pivoting. I'm on that corner. Pivoting, I'm on that yellow line. Pivot, I'm on that corner. Pivot, I'm on that orange line. See what I'm saying? I'm always here ready in position to punch. No matter what, I'm ready to move just because I'm always at either the line or at the corner. So those are some key things to focus on and to practice on while using this ladder to help you better understand how to pivot to your right. All right, now we're gonna do it as a southpaw. So you're gonna have your right foot in the middle. We're gonna pivot to our right facing our left, okay? So once again, I'm gonna be on the ball of my back, on my front foot. I'm gonna turn my body and shift my weight. As I turn, see I'm facing straight ahead? I pivot and my left foot will be in the bottom left part of the corner as I'm facing forward to my left. Boom, just nice and smooth. Just like that. Having the foot up, pivoting like if I'm throwing a punch, and as I pivot, you see how my body just turns? 
So instead of throwing a punch, my body just turns, just one smooth move like that. And I can drop my foot, and once I get done, once I get where I want, I can drop that front foot. Pivot, drop, and I'm ready to go. That's me pivoting in to the ladder. Boom. Now I want to pivot out of the ladder. So same thing, I'm going to pivot, turn, but making sure my left foot is in alignment with the yellow part of the, the ladder. Don't drag your foot, throws everything off the ladder. You see? So I'm here. In my stance, pivoting, boom, right in the yellow line. Once again, as I pivot like I'm throwing a punch, my body does all the work, I turn with my feet, and I'm right there. Once I do that pivot, I just drop my foot. As soon as I get done, where I'm exactly where I want to be, just drop that foot. It's all just right there. Nice and simple, real easy pivoting to my right. So when you're pivoting, I say keep your foot in the middle. The reason I say that is because you don't want to be on the edge right here. And you don't want to pivot and shoot to the bottom because now look where I'm at. We're at the skateboard. What does that mean? Look, my feet touches. Looks like I'm riding a skateboard. I have no balance. I have no leverage. I'm off balance. I can't get, generate the same power on the skateboard. That's why I want to be in the middle. So when I pivot and turn, see how my feet spread out? I'm not dragging my foot. It's not sliding into each other. That's why I want to be right here in the middle, maybe even up a little bit in the corner. Not corner here, corner right in front of me. Like that, so I'm at a good space. Once again, you see why I don't want to be here? Because my stance is still a little wide, I'm still a little close, I want, remember, it's a game about inches, that makes my stance a little too close. I want to spread out where I can bend and squat down and then start punching or making it easier for me to weave out of punches. So that's why, another reason why I don't want to be too in and I don't want to be too far out in the wrong corner. So I want to be towards the middle, maybe even up here in the corner. But right now, the middle, pivoting, step into the left side of that corner where I'm here. Makes it easier for me to step, move around. Now, once again, I'm in the inside. I don't want to be back here trying to pivot because See how it throws my stance off just a little bit by being my feet too close when I'm trying to pivot out. See, I'm not, my foot's not in the line. It's right here, you see? Like half of it, half my foot's in the line, but it's more like, I'm, I'm like raising my foot. Not a good stance. Remember, these are subtle things. These are, may not, you may not see it as much, guys. You might just be like, oh, since, what's the big deal? But remember, game of inches, every time you fight, just because you dodged a punch or moved out of the way, you don't want to barely, you want to be out of the way where you're comfortable enough to throw punches or weave or make a um, better move off that. You don't want to be like, oh, I barely, now I need a reset every time. You want to be in position. So that's why I don't want to be here trying to pivot out where I'm partially in the other box and I'm partially put in alignment with the, the ladder. That's why, once again, I want you guys in the middle or in the corner over here. So when you pivot, boom, I'm nice and safe. I'm right here. You see, my foot is right there. Just the, my toe, my big toe is right there on the, the line, making it easier and making it smooth. So in case something happens, I'm ready to punch, I'm ready to step and move. And it's this subtle thing. Remember, in the boxing, everyone thinks it's the big thing. It's just the small things that make the biggest impact. So those are just some key things to keep an eye out when you're working on the speed ladder, making sure your foot's in the right position and turning how it can make a big difference from when you step and being able to punch. Now we're gonna pivot to our left, face the right. So your foot's gonna be on the inside. Once again, you're gonna be on your toe. You're gonna turn your body, swing to your left so you're facing the right. So remember, as I'm turning, like I'm throwing a punch, for I'm just pivoting and having my left foot on the bottom left side of the quarter. So just swing my body and turn right in position. That's how I'll swing into the ladder or pivot into the ladder where I'm in the right position to go forward, go back. So just that movement. In the middle, pivot and turn right there. 
good position. Then the same thing when I want to go out, I'm foot in the middle, pivot and turn. You see, I'm right here in alignment with the orange, right there. I'm right here, my foot on the bottom left corner. My right foot does all the work as far as lifting up and turning. And as I turn, my body's going with it. You see, turn, body right there with it. Foot in alignment with that orange line on the sea ladder. So it makes it easier for me to step out, step around in range, or even shoot punches off that. So those are just some key things you want to keep an eye on. Right here, pivoting in, bottom left side of the corner, pivoting out, right foot by the red ladder, pivoting back in, bottom left side of the corner, pivoting in, right on the right line, or I mean orange this time, orange line. So that's all, just those little things, simple, but just making sure that when you're pivoting, you're making sure you're hitting those marks. You're hitting those marks every time that you're pivoting. All right, as you saw, when we're doing it, we're just pivoting to our left, facing the right, you see my foot in the corner. A simple mistake that people make is when they pivot, sometimes they'll overshoot. You see how my foot's on the outside? It's, they're by a corner, but it's outside. And if you notice that it slowly opens me up, even when I try to force my front shoulder forward, my back, you can see my stance is not in a good position that you see, Compared to here, look how more tight, compact, I'm ready to shoot. Here, I feel off balance a little bit. Even when I try to turn it, I feel like I have to step forward or I have to bring my foot back in. And you don't want it in a fight, you don't want to do that. Make that move and then having to readjust because that could be the difference maker. This, the opening might be right there, but because you're messing with your feet and your stance, you might try to retaliate and just because you were a second off, you missed your mark. So that's why you want to be here pivoting into that corner so in case if you see that opening i'm ready to strike right away rather than being here try and strike but you're too wide and you're not you just slightly missed or you weren't able to react fast enough because your stance was a little wide so that's once again why i want you pivoting right here in a good stance where i'm able to punch and not over commit once again that you see from here to here once again it's a game about inches that just that placement of that foot just a couple inches over can be a difference maker okay so that's why I want to pivot right here ready to go same thing I don't want to be out here because if I'm out here and I pivot it's going to throw me off look yes my foot's on the red line but it's going right in the middle of my foot meaning it's opening my stance up I'm getting wider again once again just that one simple mistake threw everything off and starting to throw everything off when I do it that's another reason why when I pivot, that corner, so when I pivot, boom, look, just my front part of my foot, my big toe is right on that line, that big difference maker, right there, pivot, pivot, you see what I'm saying? That is the big difference between being out here and swinging out here, where then I'm trying to readjust, reshuffle, I'm not ready to fight. I always want to be in position where I'm here, boom, I'm ready to punch right off at any given moment. See, that's why it's so, just that game of inches, like I said, from right there, staying tight, compact, right here, is a huge difference maker than being wide. So going from here, going out wide, messing my whole game up, my whole strategy, my whole body movement, my mechanics. See, do you see it now how I'm close to my, both my shoulders are pointing to you rather than just this front shoulder. And like I said, once again, it's a game of inches. Look, my foot is hitting right in the middle, but then when I bring it back, right on my toes, look at how that goes from this foot shoulder pointing forward to this, just my front shoulder. And it's, that's, that's the little subtle big difference when doing it. And that's why I say it's so important. And it's a game of inches, just that small little difference between where you're placing your foot can either make it where you're in a good stance ready to shoot or you're in a bad stance and you may be hesitant to pull the trigger or you might be off just by a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned how to pivot to your left and right as a right hand and as a south pole. Um, next week, I'll be breaking down how to pivot and step, how to step then pivot on the speed ladder. And then eventually we'll break it down to where we can slide and pivot in the ring. 
So it's just baby steps that we're taking that I'm breaking it down a little bit with the footwork and showing you what some of the key things to keep an eye on when you're pivoting. So, but I hope you guys enjoy. Check out my playlist for more videos. But until next time, guys, this is El Castigador, and I'll see you.